Reports are stating that Spurs are targeting a Villarreal left-back, Christian Eriksen to make a decision on his future in the next couple of days. An 8-8 draw for the Tottenham Hotspur legends on Sunday afternoon. Reports on Richarlison, Regulon and Jed Spence. And a former Spurs defender uh, talks out about Antonio Conte and Christian Romero. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, OneFootball, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Now, on Sunday, the only Tottenham Hotspur player on international duty was Dijan Kuliszewski. He was in action for his country, Sweden, as they went down 3-2 against Norway in the Nations League. Dijan Kuliszewski completed the 90 minutes and he did provide an assist for his teammate, Forsberg, in the 62nd minute. Now, for quite a time now, there has been lots of speculation linking Christian Eriksen back to Spurs for a sensational return to Tottenham Hotspur this summer. Well, Fabrizio Romano, the Italian journalist and transfer expert, has provided an update on the Christian Eriksen situation. He has stated that Brentford have submitted a serious, important personal terms offer to Eriksen, but the player is considering his options with many clubs interested. Eriksen will make his decision on his future in the coming days. Now, over the weekend, there has been lots of media reports published linking uh, Richarlison to Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, another one has just been released by the Daily Mail, and they are stating that Everton want more than £50 million for Tottenham target Richarlison, with Real Madrid and PSG also tracking the Brazil international. It states that Everton want in excess of £50 million if they are to sell Tottenham target Richarlison this summer. The Brazil international is open to leaving Goodison Park this summer, with Spurs among the teams interested in the forward. Real Madrid and PSG have also been credited with an interest in Richarlison, but sources have indicated that Tottenham are currently the most serious about trying to sign the South American. It then states, however, the Toffees will demand a high price for their forward and will not consider anything less than £50 million. Everton are aware of Tottenham's interest in Richarlison and are open to engaging in further talks with Spurs. Later on in this report from the Daily Mail, it mentions current fullback uh, Sergio Reguilon and Tottenham Hotspur target Jed Spence. It states that Tottenham's left wing back Sergio Reguilon is a target for Barcelona, but the Catalans' own economic issues would make a deal difficult at the moment. Spurs will accelerate their bid to land at Middlesbrough right back Jed Spence this month in a deal worth £16 million plus £4 million in add ons, £20 million in total. Uh, Spence shone on loan at Nottingham Forest last season. Now, a report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham are now targeting second Villarreal signing after Pau Torres swap deal discussions. Tottenham have been in talks with Villarreal over Giovanni Lo Celso and Pau Torres. The report states that Tottenham are targeting highly rated Villarreal left-back Purvis Estupanan as they look to carry out further business with the Champions League semi-finalist, according to reports in Spain. Earlier this week, Spurs held discussions with their La Liga counterparts regarding a potential swap deal involving Giovanni Lo Celso and Pau Torres. Villarreal are keen to land the Argentinian attacking midfielder on a permanent basis following a successful loan spell in the second half of last season. Talks remain ongoing with Tottenham also keen to explore a potential deal for Spain international defender Torres, who is also a target for Manchester United. Spurs yet to decide whether they will push ahead for Torres, though, in the aftermath of top target Alessandro Bastoni's decision to stay at Inter Milan. And according to Spanish newspaper Marsa, Estupanan is also a topic in North London and the fullback's agent is already working on the deal.
The Ecuador international caught the eye in Villarreal's Champions League semi-final second leg against Liverpool when he displayed his pinpoint crossing from the flank. Purvis Estupanan likes to motor up and down the flank and hypothetically would be a great fit for Antonio Conte's left wing back role. It also states in this report that the La Liga outfit are also looking to raise some cash this summer to make some improvements to their squad after missing out on Champions League football and Europa League football for next season. If Spurs were to clinch a deal, it would not be his first stint in England. The 24-year-old technically spent four seasons with Watford, although he failed to appear for the Hornets following a string of loan spells at various clubs where he really impressed during the 2019-2020 season. His form encouraged Villarreal to make their move and now the yellow submarine could be prepared to offload him at the right price. But Tottenham already have a number of options at left wing back, particularly following the signing of Ivan Perisic on a free transfer from Inter Milan. Former Tottenham Hotspur defender Jonathan Woodgate, who of course scored our winning goal the last time we won a domestic trophy. That was in 2008 when we beat Chelsea 2-1 at Wembley Stadium in the League Cup. He has been talking to the Daily Mail all about Antonio Conte and trophies. Woodgate said, now you've got a world-class manager in Antonio Conte, he will hopefully bring Spurs trophies. Pochettino did an incredible job when he was there. To get to the Champions League final, he finished second one year, third place behind Leicester, and that could have been their opportunity. Pochettino was brilliant with a young, aggressive team led by Harry Kane, but they should have won trophies. They should have. Consistency wins you trophies. It doesn't win you cups, because when you play good in the third round and not so well in the fourth round and still go through in the league, you need to be solid in every game. Spurs have just finished fourth in the Premier League and they have done really well. When Antonio Conte first came in, I didn't think that they would do it, but he's done a magnificent job there. I think that they have had a really good season. Woodgate then went on to talk about Tottenham Hotspur defender Christian Romero and said, I like him. Uh, I've watched him a lot when he was at Atalanta. He's a front foot defender. He is aggressive and I like his authority. Him and Dyer, and you've got Ben Davis on the left-hand side. It brings good balance. Antonio Conte's improved that three so much since the start of the season. What Antonio Conte's done since he's come in is get the fans right back on side. It's only since Maurizio Pochettino that the fans have really been on side with a manager. I think what he's done with the formation is kept to a settled side. The two wing-backs he has changed often, but he's kept the same players and beliefs, and he's done really well. And finally, the Tottenham Hotspur legends were in action on Sunday afternoon. Uh, the Spurs legends played at the Gallagher Stadium, the home of Maidstone United Football Club. They took on Waitrose 270 Football Club. It was in aid of two charities, Slide Away and Space to Be Me. And the result ended 8 all. Yes, you did hear me right. An 8-all draw, a 16-goal thriller, three penalties in the game for the Spurs legends and a red card for Waitrose. Now, players that played in the game include Mark Falco, Pascal Chimbonda, Brian Statham, Stuart Nevercott, Kevin Watson, David Howes and Jeff Minton. Now, if you'd like to check out the highlights from this game and indeed the 16 goals, please do check out my YouTube channel. Um, the video was published on Sunday afternoon. Now, my thoughts on all of these stories in this episode. Let's start with Spurs targeting Villarreal left back, uh, Sputinan. Um, I would be very surprised if this deal went ahead, to be honest. We have just signed Ivan Perisic. I know that we are looking for uh, strength in depth as well. Um, but I think that Ryan Sessegnon will uh, stay at Spurs beyond the summer. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if Sergio Regulon was sold. Uh, but I'd be surprised if Spurs brought in another left back at this stage. Um, it's certainly the right side that we are targeting at the moment. Jed Spence, um, I think that that deal will probably get done uh, in the very near future. The Christian Eriksen one, I'm hoping that Christian Eriksen does come back to Spurs. I hope that Spurs do offer him a contract and uh, he makes a sensational return to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. I think that we could uh, we could do with his quality and experience in the side. And uh, you know, certainly, you know, I've said this hundreds of times on this channel. Certainly, in the last few weeks, you know, from next season, we can use five subs. And uh, I think Christian Eriksen would be very, very uh, important and a very good signing for this side. 
And I completely agree with all of Jonathan Woodgate's comments on Antonio Conte and Christian Romero. Of course, Antonio Conte, since he's come in uh, at Spurs since early November, has made vast improvements. And this is why I'm so excited as a Spurs fan right now, because, you know, we've got a transfer window to look forward to until the end of August. And I think Antonio Conte will make a number of changes. And of course, we've got pre-season to look forward to as well. Uh, a lot to look forward to. Uh, you know, when you think what Antonio Conte achieved last season... I'm very excited to see what he can achieve next season. Um, an 8-8 draw for the Spurs legends on Sunday afternoon. If you haven't checked out uh, my video on YouTube uh, showing all of the highlights and the goals, do check it out. What an entertaining game. And all I will say at this stage, um, you know, when you watch it, you will find out uh, Pascal Chimbonda he is hell of a player and he has still got it. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.